Hi, I'm Deb Dietz with SMB Digital Education and welcome to our YouTube channel. Today, we're sharing a sneak peek of the Raising Confident Parents online course where our pregnancy and infant care experts, Pam Jones and Pat Pori, teach you what to expect during pregnancy, how to prepare for labor and delivery, and what to do once the new baby comes home. Today, we're focusing on Module 1, Pregnancy. And in Module 1, there are four lessons. Lesson 1 is the first trimester. Lesson 2 is the second trimester. Lesson 3 is the third trimester. And Lesson 4 is Women in the Workforce, Knowing Your Rights on the Job. Here's a quick look, a sneak peek of Lesson 1 of Module 1, our first trimester, where Pat and Pam will share the symptoms of morning sickness and tips that can help. What will I learn in Module 1 pregnancy? We're going to talk about changing trimester symptoms, tips that could help, when to call the doctor, prenatal testing, what's my baby up to, and pregnant women in the workforce. Lesson one, first trimester, weeks one through 12. What will I learn in this lesson? We're going to look at first trimester symptoms, what can help, with the tip sheet, when to call the doctor, prenatal testing, and what's my baby up to? First trimester symptoms. We have morning sickness, sore breasts, food aversions, fatigue, headaches, mood swings, increased urination, constipation, heartburn, cramping, and bleeding. Morning sickness. I'm sorry, but I'm here to tell you morning sickness sucks. Morning sickness can be a nausea with or without vomiting, and I'm really not sure which one's worse. It is most common during the first trimester, sometimes beginning as early as two weeks after conception, and can last until 16 to 20 weeks for some women. And for those unlucky ladies, it could last the whole nine months. But you could be one of those very lucky women that get through the first trimester and still feel great. No one will like you, but lucky you. Here are some tips that I hope will help. Drink lemon water in the morning, eat little and often. Having an empty stomach can actually make the morning sickness worse. Eat protein rich foods and add coconut oil to those meals. Cold meals can be better than hot ones. Have breakfast in bed. Keep a morning sickness diary. Stay hydrated and try to drink between meals. Get plenty of rest. Sniff lemons. Adjust your computer to softer backgrounds um, using colors and dimmer lights. You could wear a seasickness wristband. Try re a reflexology or acupuncture. I've had great success with aromatherapy. Don't forget your prenatal vitamins and drink ginger tea. We always would have recommend to have a survival bag with you wherever you are going. It should include a clean shirt, a toothbrush, toothpaste, empty bag, water, and crackers. If you ever need it, you'll thank us. So when should you call the doctor about morning sickness? If the nausea or vomiting is severe and you can't keep anything down, you pass only a small amount of urine and its color is dark. If you feel dizzy or faint when you stand up, if your heart races or if you vomit blood. Such great information. To learn more about module one pregnancy, click the link referenced in the description of this post and please subscribe to our YouTube channel, SMB Digital Education. Thanks for being with us today for our sneak peek of module one, pregnancy lesson one, first trimester. We'll see you soon.